Vanessa, here we are uh, showcasing one of the most uh, finicky varietals to grow, something uh, that, as you said, adaptable and uh, kind of fun varietals in the world. That grow many different places, right? Mm -hmm. So Pinot Noir, obviously sort of spiritual homeland in Burgundy, but grown, you know, right here in our backyard in, yeah. in Sonoma, but also New Zealand, Australia, South Canada, Africa. Germany. Exactly, Mexico, yeah. exactly. Argentina. And, and a variety that really showcases where it's from. So I th I'm excited to talk about it. Um, it's a, you know, a thinner skin variety, mm -hmm. so um, can vary in levels of tannin, but generally lower than if we're talking about, let's say, Cabernet Sauvignon uh -huh. uh, or, or a variety like that. Um, also known for really fresh acidity. Exactly. Which so makes it food friendly, right? Totally. Lively, very pure, mm -hmm. feminine, pretty. Exactly. Generally. And 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 also I think um you know, usually in its youth lots of sort of fresh berry fruit but can really get this sort of really interesting gamey quality as as it ages. Black tea and mm -hmm. spice mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm uh, I'm really excited to to dive in and and show everyone why we chose Pinot Noir. Yeah. It's not every day we get to try them side by side, two different areas. So. Exactly. All right, let's get started. Cheers. <laughs> 